What's up, YouTube? This is Manuel. And my name is Froyland. And, and we, we are, are Lifestyles and sneakers. sneakers. Today, we're going to be unboxing uh, another iconic Air Jordan sneaker. It's the Air Jordan 4 in black cement colorway. So stick around. Before we continue with the video, uh, we already have uh, more than 7,500 subscribers. And thank you very much for supporting our channel. So we only need less than 2,500 subscribers to reach the fourth milestone. As Troy mentioned, we're unboxing another iconic Air Jordan sneakers. Uh, hey Manuel, how is this uh, iconic again? Well, actually, this became iconic because of the shock. I'm not sure if uh, most of you know, but back in 1989, May 7 to be exact, Michael Jordan um, did one of the most iconic shots in NBA history, which is the shot on Craig Elo versus the Cleveland Cavaliers. Oh. Yeah, yeah. so um, basically the Jordan Force are celebrating their 30th year anniversary um, because as I mentioned, they were they were originally released in 1989, and now it's 2019. 2019, so. 2019 already. So it's been 30 years, and they have released so many uh, colorways of this one. Actually, when when this was uh, released back then, I was in grade school, mm -hmm. and I don't like I don't, I haven't heard of Michael Jordan yet. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just know I just know this shoe because uh, most of my. Uh, friends and classmates are wearing them oh yeah because back in that time i don't think there's nba um, yeah, in, in, the, in in our television i think if i remember it correctly the first or i think in the the when the when the chicago bulls went to the finals that was the first time i think that we got live um uh, nba nba actually the, the that's the first time also i've seen michael michael jordan play live uh during the the nba yeah, or very first yeah. Versus the LA Lakers. Yeah, that's the first time I've seen him uh, play. Oh, well, anyway, let's uh, open, open this. So, what do you think, Froy? Actually, it's very, very nice. I think this is the, one of the the better Air Jordans, uh, uh, retro Air Jordans out there. I, I, I agree with you. I think, I mean, apart from the Concords or the Jordan 11s, I think the Jordan 4s is my yes. uh, Air Jordan silhouette that I really like. Yes, I mean, because uh, actually, if you compare to this to the other uh, uh, retro Air Jordan, it's not like thickly padded. So yeah. it has a, like a, a sleeker silhouette. So it won't make your, your feet fat. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, it's still padded, although compared to like, for example, to the Jordan 3, yeah. I think it's it's it's... It's not too bulky. It's not, no, yeah, exactly. It's not too bulky. Plus, I think because normally people rock the Air Jordans, right? It's either the Jordan One, Jordan Three, Jordan Four, or yeah. Jordan Five. Yeah. Normally, those are the most famous um, lifestyle for, yeah, Air for Jordans, street right? Wear, for for streetwear, street right? But I think amongst all those, I mean, of course, the iconic Jordan One. Apart yeah. from that, this is, I think. Um, I think one of the, the best ones, especially this colorway. Yeah, I think this this one, uh, aside from Air Jordan, uh, the Air Jordan one, mm -hmm. this one is uh, very good for uh, streetwear, especially wearing jeans. Yeah, this yes. one Joggers is uh, yeah, and all compared these to the other ones. Yeah, I agree with you. And um, I don't know if you noticed, I mentioned the, the colorway is black cement, right? Mm -hmm. Because originally, that what's that's, what is uh, the that, colorway? That that's what Nike call this yeah, colorway. Yeah, this this colorway. In fact, in the box, you can see it's a black cement. It's, it's not black. not breads. Yeah, not breads. Actually, it's only recent. On recent, I think in the two thousands that uh, they 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 popularized the, the colorway breads. Ah, uh, yeah, because of black and red. Yeah, yeah. They, they and then I think it. most of the Air Jordans. Um, have at least black and red colorway. Yeah, right? most I of think, them like uh, white I and think red all. and black. And, yeah. yeah, I think all because probably mm -hmm. uh, because of the Chicago I think, Bulls. Yeah, it's the the, I think that, that is like the the easiest colorway to mat, mix and match. So that's yeah. why they do it. So white and red, 
black and red. Yeah. So most yes. of the time, they, that's what they do. And I think the the material on this uh, on this uh, retro is uh, very good. I think the it's very close to the original. Yeah, I think amongst all the the retros that they've done, this is the closest to original. Uh huh. Especially the the Nike Air at the back. Although a lot of uh, sneaker heads or OG sneaker heads are compl complaining because it's not really centered. It's uh, it's off centered, you know. Oh really? Yeah. Uh, you, you won't really notice it, but of course the the OG sneaker heads would really notice. I think because if you put it a little se more center. Yeah. I think the Nike word is yeah. not centered because yeah. if you put it more, the the, the, the swoosh. The, yeah, the tip, the swoosh would stick out. Exactly. So exactly. I yeah. think they did it for like. For some reason, yeah, yeah, for yeah not yeah. to make that happen. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, a lot of so, OG, yeah, OG yeah. sneaker heads were like, eh, so why I think the, centered? the material is uh, really good. It's uh, not, it's uh, close to the original, right? Yeah. Dura Buck. Dura Buck, yeah, yeah. synthetic new Buck. Yeah. So it's the same as the original. They have the, the netting, the web netting, mm -hmm. and uh, the TPU uh, plastic uh, lace, lace loops. loops. Lace yeah. loops, and lace holders. Yeah, so, but this this one uh, the the midsole on this one are uh, are actually better. Oh than yeah, the original, original ones. Original, yeah. Because this they one, improved on it. Yeah. yeah, because this one will be more durable than the original one. Yeah. If you can uh, see an uh, an OG uh, uh -huh. of this shoe, maybe it's all cracked up. Yeah, it's all cracked. And then actually, the original, the nineteen eighty nine, the nineteen eighty nine version, or or even the nineteen ninety nine version. I mean, I think the foam is already like disintegrated. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. especially if you get them wet, because in the Philippines, uh, most of my classmates ha had this problem. Most mm. of my friends, because it, it's uh, continually uh, raining half of the year, so most of them are getting wet. And uh, less than they less than a year, they uh, they have they, problems. Yeah, they're having also. problems with the midsole. Actually, that's that's what I don't like about the the, the original oh, the original one. sneakers yeah. because. Yeah, it's e it easily gets uh, damage, and yeah, I mean after a few years, it's it's gonna be yeah because the technology is yeah not back yet then. there back then yeah back they then don't it's... have the the EVA foam uh, yeah. technology back then exactly unlike nowadays with all this uh, new technology with the sneakers I mean it's more durable yeah more durable uh, actually if you will own the only problem now is like for the for the icy soles, it, uh -huh. it turns yellow. Yeah, I think in um, in few years' times, yeah. I think they can fix yeah. that that problem as well. Yeah. But anyway, so, uh, I hope you like our video about this. Uh, actually, it is also considered grills. Yeah. Yeah. So a lot of a lot <laughs> of uh, Jordan heads there will be like doubling up on this one, and I also suggest that if you can buy them. Uh, uh, retail SRP, you get you you double up because uh, in a few years when uh, they don't produce this anymore and all the pairs are worn out, you will still have a, a nice uh, fresh pair. Yeah, exactly. Actually, I was thinking of doubling up, but yeah. even if you don't resell, yeah, if you beat beat this up. Uh, if you beat this up, at least you have a, a, new, have a, spare, a new, yeah, yeah a new pair exactly. because and it's gonna be a long time before they uh, yeah. they release another yeah, and one. I don't, and I think that even if you keep it for a couple of years, it will last longer yeah, than the, right. the previous versions yes, of this yes. shoe. So it's time for some uh, on foot action.
So did you like how it looked? Anyway, I think it's time to announce the... The winner for our uh, second milestone, the Air Jordan 4 Black, Black Laser. Laser. And the winner is... Congratulations to Kazuma Yamamoto. So we will be uh, contacting you through IG. So please watch out for it. So before we end this video, let uh, let us remind you again that our Epic Air Jordan giveaway is still ongoing. As a matter of fact, our uh, first winner already received uh, his sneaker. We already uh, already contacting our second winner, and the third winner winner will be uh, announced next week. And for the fourth winner, yeah, for the fourth winner, please uh, make sure that you comment on all the six Air Jordan videos, especially the Jordan 6 video that we have because we only have over 200 comments. Yeah, so, uh, so guys, a lot of you commented on the, the other Concords, Air which yeah. is, I think the highest is the Concords and then the, the Chinese New Year. Uh, I think most of you haven't commented on the Jordan 6 video. So guys, please, if you want to have a chance to win the or to be the lucky subscriber, please make sure that you comment so that you, you will have the chance to, to get the, the in all six, in Jordan, all six uh, Jordan sneakers. Let, let us remind you again that you, you can have a chance if you're really lucky you can have a chance to win multiple Air Jordans yes. as long as you comment on all. But if you don't comment on all six of them, then the chance, chance. Yeah, you won't have a chance. We hope you like this video and if you do, please press the thumbs up button down below. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please smash the subscribe button. Also, please like us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram. Until next time.